Hello, hello, welcome to the Excited Education channel, the YouTube channel which brings you about mathematics and biology. Yeah, now I'm with Jamie Chris on YouTube channel called Excited Education channel. We are going to discuss about biology unit 4, where we are going to discuss about microscopy in general by magnifying instruments and biological drawings. So here, Commonly, we are going to discuss or to detail this study about microscope. Yeah. So, before I proceed, I would like to invite each and everybody who viewing this video. First, make subscribe, comment, share, and like for more videos that I would like to upload on my channel. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. So, magnifying instruments and biological drawings. So let us see what you call magnifying glass. So the microscope are the instrument that are likely to be used in magnification of biological drawings and biological processes even in chemistry or likely to be used where you are viewing the things, things that are not seen with our naked eyes and we like it to be magnified by magnifying glass and using the instrument what you call the Microscope. So magnifying glass called a hand lens in laboratory context and is a convex lens that is used to produce a magnified image of an object. The lens is usually mounted in a frame with a handle. So see this image, a sheet magnified consists of many very narrow concentric ring shaped lens such that the combination acts as a single lens but is much thinner. This is what we call magnifying glass. So this magnifying glass, as you see, this is what we call magnifying glass, and this is where we put the the substrate that are like to be magnified. And this magni magnifying glass is like to be used in a laboratory. And Here, is used as also a microscope, and this magnifying glass is one instrument that are used to in my biological drawings and biological viewing in a laboratory. So this is act as also a like a microscope. So there's what you call a microscope also instrument. This is a structure of microscope. So you see and try to observe this clearly. We are going to discuss each part of microscope with respective function that are required to perform in the process of viewing and magnifying the substance. So here, let us try to explain one part by one part. So the, the following parts of microscope. First, there is eyepieces or eyepiece or ocular lens. So, ocular lens or eyepiece is this part. So, this part is what you call eyepiece. This is an eyepiece, yes. And this eyepiece is likely to be used as a... So, if the eyepiece is the lens, so present at the top and is used to see the object, under study so this is where we like to use or we like to place our eye while we are observing so i i piece range contain a magnification of 10x or 15x so there's what you call tube tube is what you call this one border tube the border tube is this and this is a body tube, yes. This body tube is likely to be used or to play a function like connects the eyepiece to the object lenses. So it connects the eyepiece to the object what lenses. This is what you call dissolving nose piece. Dissolving nose piece is these ones. You see this is the dissolving nose piece and this is this is this is one part which is called the, the dissolving nose nose piece and the 
this part is like to play a role of resolving nose piece it is also known as the toilet talent resolving nose piece as holding for the different object lenses so it allows the rotation of the lens while viewing with another part is called objective lens the objective lens generally the three or four objective lenses are found in the microscope with ranges of 10x to 480x 100x powers so lenses are occur coded the shorter the shortest lens is of the lower power and the largest longest lens is high power lens so the objective lens are lenses that are to be found in the microscope and we find that they have range of magnification of 10x 40x and 100x directed to be four or three so what you call objective lens are those are, are, are this structure for it it is physically observable so these are what you call objective or resolving objective so these are like a, as a, about a three parts or three objectives so here there's also what we call diaphragm diaphragm so diaphragma yeah sorry for sparing diaphragma helps in controlling the amount of light that is passing through the opening of the stage it is helpful in the adjustment of the control of light that enters so the diaphragma diaphragma on the on the microscope is this part this part is what you call diaphragma and it is likely to be used in in the adjustment of the control of light that enters in the microscope then as what you, there is another part which is called the coarse adjacent adjustment knob coarse adjustment knob used for focus on scanning yeah usually the raw part lens is used enabling the movement of the tube so this adjustment knob let me show you on this structure adjustment knob is this this part is what you call adjustment knob and there is another part which is called um, uh, arm it supports the tube of the microscope and connects to the base of the microscope this arm on this one is it likely to be this structure this structure is what you call arm and another part i can say it is what we call stage uh, the platform that is flat used for pressing the slide under object observation so the this stage is likely to be used in pressing the slide under the water observation and there is what you call stage stage creep the stage creep holds the slide in a proper press so if you are doing the experiment or they are, they are observing a certain organism under microscope so the there is what you call stage where you like to press the slides and there is what you call stage creep that holds the slides there is what you call condenser condenser the main function of condenser lens is focusing the light on the specimen under observation when very high power of the 400x are used condensers lens are very important presence of the condenser lens gives a shape or a sharper image as compared to the microscope with no condenser lens so condenser on microscope is what is likely to be found in right source so this condenser is likely to be found or is likely to be used when we are observing or we are focusing or when we are observing a certain specimen and this condenser plays a, a main function in focusing the light on the specimen under observation there's what we call base base provide basal support for the microscope 
so this helps a microscope to stay stable so there is what we call power switch the main power power switch that turns the illumination on or off so this is the different parts of the microscope and like it be used uh, by microscope and very important so i it's better to understand these parts and we see their respective functions such that by any time it's like it be used you have to know that i can use this part in this function this part in this function so let us see you know that there is what you call calculation of magnification size of image and magnification you have to know that the magnification is called size of image over size of object while we are, we are completing making this uh, uh, an experiment and you want to uh, you want to 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 find the magnification that you record to be used while you are observing your specimen you have to know that you take size of that image and divide by size of the object so this is the about microscope and the glass magnifying glass as the magnifying instrument and the biological drawings that are used in the laboratory of biology so thank you for watching this video about microscope and gra uh, magnification magnifying glass see you next session while we are talking about cells or cell structure so thank you for watching this video may god bless you but I remember to make subscribe comment share and like see you next